In this video, I show you three of the best ways to transfer files between your Android phone and Windows laptop. So I've come up with these three methods based on all different use cases. So one requires a wire if you want to transfer a large file immediately, while the other two are much easier for small files and it all happens wirelessly. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. The first method is using nearby share, which was just released last month. And this is my personal favorite because it's wireless, it's quick, and you can also use this to transfer large files. So now I'll show you how it works. To use nearby share, the first thing we have to do is enable it on our phone and on our laptop. So to download it on the laptop, we have to search for nearby share windows on Google. After that, just click on the first link, which is on android.com. So to download this, just click on get started with beta. And as you can see, the setup has gotten downloaded. So I'll just click on it and set up nearby share. And now the setup is ready on our PC. We can receive files from our devices from here, or if we want to send files, we can send them by selecting files from the bottom. So now I'll go to my phone and show you the setup on that. So on the phone, the setup is much simpler. All you have to do is download this app if it's not already on your phone. It's the Files by Google app. So once it's downloaded, just open it. Then at the bottom right, you'll find an option called Nearby Share. So just click on it. And now from here, we can send and receive files. So I'll show you how it works. I'll just send a file from my phone to my laptop. So I'll click on send. Then I can decide what I want to send. So I have a lot of options on top. So if I want to send an image, I'll select images. Then let's say I want to send these two pictures on top. So I'll just select them and then click on next, which is at the bottom. So now it's looking for nearby devices and it's found my laptop. So to send it, I'll just click on my laptop's name. And now it's done for my phone. All I need to do is go to my laptop and click on accept. The second method is the old favorite and that's using a cable. This is still the fastest and best option if you want to transfer large files. So let's say you want to transfer all of your photos if they're 10 to 20 GB. All of this can happen in a matter of seconds if you use a cable. And this is impossible if you try to do it wirelessly. So now I'll show you how to transfer using a cable. The first thing you have to do is just connect your phone to your laptop using your normal charging cable. So I'll just do that. After this, just unlock your phone and select File Transfer in the notification panel. So I'm not sure if you can see, but it's currently on file transfer. And then you'll be able to access all of your phone's data on your laptop. So now I've come to my laptop and I'll have to go to the file explorer. So just click on the start menu and search for file explorer. Then just click on this PC that's written on the left over here and here you'll find your phone's name. As you can see, my phone has come here. So I'll just click on it. After that, I'll click on internal storage. And here I can access all of the files on my phone. So now based on what I want to transfer, I need to copy that and then paste it onto my laptop. So again, I'll transfer some photos. So photos are saved in DCIM that's over here. And from here, you'll have to look for the photos that you want to transfer. For now, I'll just transfer these two photos over here. So I'll select them. And now what I have to do is copy them and then paste them into my laptop. So I'll just copy them by clicking Control C. So it's copied now. Then I'll just go to my desktop that's here and paste them. So I'll click on Control V. And as you can see, 
these two images have come here. So the same way, if I want to transfer files from my laptop to my phone, I have to just copy them from my laptop, then go to my phone, and then I can just paste it in my internal storage. And now the third method is to transfer small files really quickly. So for this, we'll use Google Drive, WhatsApp, Gmail. So I'll show you how it works. So first, I'll show you how to do this using WhatsApp. So I'll open WhatsApp on my phone. Then you'll have to go to the chat with yourself. So if you don't know how to find it, you can just search for you on top. And as you can see, the chat has come here. So I'll click on it. And now, like a normal WhatsApp chat, I can send documents or photos to myself. So for now, I'll just attach photos. So click on the attach button that's at the bottom. Then select gallery. After that, select the photo that you want to send. So for now, I'll select this. And now it's sent from my phone. So let's go to my laptop and see if it's come. So here, I'm on my laptop, and I'll quickly open WhatsApp. And as you can see, the most recent chat is with myself, and the last message is the picture that I sent right now. So to download this picture, I'll just right click and click on Save As. And now I can save this picture to my laptop. And now I'll show you the second method, which is using Google Drive. So on your phone, you'll have to open Google Drive. So here, I've opened Google Drive. And then I'll have to upload the document which I'll want to share. So just click on the plus button at the bottom right. Then click on Upload. And here, select whichever picture or file that you want to upload. So again, I'll select this picture. So now it's being uploaded, and all we have to do is go to our laptop, sign in with the same Google account, and then you'll be able to access this file which you just uploaded. So I'll show you how to do it. So here, I've opened Google Drive, and I've logged in with the same account. And as you can see, the most recent document is the picture that I just uploaded. And now I can access it on my laptop. And to download it, I can just click on the download button that's over here. And now I can save it on my laptop. And if you want to know how to make phone calls using your laptop, you can check out this video over here. So these are the three methods. And let me know down in the comments which one you like the most. That's it for today. Goodbye.